Time to step inside the tech tent now. Joining me live is Tech Guide editor Stephen Fennick. Now, Stephen, before we get into our topics today, it is the New South Wales election. Why isn't it digital? Why are we doing it all on paper, mate? Yeah, good morning, uh, Tim. It's, uh, it's a great, great question, actually. My parents were keen to, to vote online, though they were wanting to do it for the first time, but unfortunately, uh, not available. Uh, it, it is all, you're going to have to turn up or do a postal vote. I think the concerns are around security. That they, uh, the, the, that's been a debate for quite a long time. Why, why you can't just vote online? Uh, I think that the, the, there has been. If you can cast your mind back to the census dramas of 2016, and when the government tried to do something major online, it was an absolute disaster. So. I think that that's fresh in a lot of people's memories that if you put the, the polls online, there is a, a major chance of something happening, so something something not going wrong. But uh, maybe in four years or maybe the next federal election, I think that uh, we, we, we could do it. It's very easy to, to verify someone's identity and security online, whether they use a dedicated app or whether they use a, a website with, a, with a, uh, a, a password. But I just tried to log into the New South Wales state election website and it crashed. It, it wouldn't even load. I was wanting to look at places mm. where I could take my parents to vote and didn't even load. So I think that's that's probably one of the main reasons why they just don't have the, the facility to do it at this point. Yeah, OK. Uh, we've got a glimpse at this iPhone 15 Pro, mate. <clears throat> Yeah, that's right. This is uh, some some leaked images that we've seen online, and uh, it's still six months away. The iPhone 15 Pro, but there were some images that were shared on Twitter by a few tech insiders who had this information. Now, the reason this information exists is for case manufacturers. You got to think. You got to remember that the day the iPhone comes out, they want to have this hyper accurate information. And what these are in, are images are showing us is that there is a slight design change uh, if the these are, if these are genuine, the the iPhone 15 will have more of a slightly, slightly more curve to the edges. There's going to be one volume button instead of two. That switch as well, the mute switch that's been on the iPhone since the first model, that's actually going to go and be replaced by a button. The other images there you saw were of the, the front glass, which shows that the, the bezel, so the frame around the outside of the screen, is actually going to be a lot thinner. So you're going to have a lot more screen real estate. But as I said, the reason these exist, these CAD images, these computer-aided design images, is to give case manufacturers those precise specifications so that the day that the iPhone comes out, that's a massive industry for them, that their cases are ready to go. What's the story with this new security camera? Uh, this is the Arlo Pro 5 2K, just been released in Australia. Now, what, what sets this apart is the fact that it is dual band. So it, it works on both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band of your network, which means faster video loading, faster to, for, uh, for viewing times for when you want to view the cameras remotely. Uh, previously, you could only connect these cameras on the 2.4 gigahertz band of your network, which was frustrating for customers who couldn't load Locate that band, uh, it, it did take a bit of time to connect. But now Arlo's come through with this new Pro 5 2K that not only has dual band, but because of that strength of connection, also offers up to 30% better battery performance. So compared to the Pro 4, which was single band, the Pro 5 can now offer up to 30% longer battery time as a result. Uh, also has, of course, a 160 degree viewing angle too. So uh, this, this one camera can cover an area in your home, the front of your home, the back of your home, that would normally require two cameras. So it does give you a lot of coverage. And that 2K resolution also means a lot of detail. You can see car number plates, uh, people's faces. So those important details that if you do need them, they're right there. Optus is on the front foot with its marketing. Of course, they've had some dramas the past 18 months. Uh, I saw something with an offer to come across to us and we'll give you this. And, and they're also offering customers $5 a day of international roaming. Yeah, that's right. This is uh, this was announced earlier this week, and it does match Vodafone's offering for five dollars a day international roaming, which I've been using for years. I'm a Vodafone customer. Uh, Optus's offer uh, is available in if you're travelling to uh, 102 different countries, so that they have got deals in place. Uh, it's five dollars a day, which means you get unlimited talk, unlimited text, but you get an allowance of five gigabytes of data per day. 
Now, how does that differ from Vodafone? Vodafone, same price, five bucks a day. Vodafone has deals with 107 countries around the world, but they have their, the Vodafone offer is using your plan as if you were in Australia. So if you've got lots of data on your plan, you can use it as if you're in Australia. So there's no cap to your data as long as it's on your plan. With Optus, you need to be on one of their choice plans, and then you have the additional, the, the $5 a day covers your talk, text, and the $5, five gigabytes worth of data. If you run out of the five gigabytes of data in one day, which I've done overseas, mm. you have to pay another $5. But the one difference, though, between Optus and Vodafone, Optus covers the United Arab Emirates, so Dubai. Uh, Vodafone doesn't. I, uh, I, was the, I was caught out one time on a trip to London. I, I had to update Tech Guide uh, in Dubai, not realising that Vodafone wasn't a partner okay. in the United Arab Emirates. Got back on the plane and had a $100 data bill uh, from, from the updates I'd just done. Oh, no, that hurts. Stephen, all the best with Manly and South. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, Timmy.